if you ask any of our team members um, how, how many times I use the word team in a day, it's, it's dozens at least, but it's real, it's real. Uh, our philosophy is, uh, I refer to myself as the team captain, and on teams, if you, perform, if you perform your role and if I perform my role and if we all do what we're supposed to do, teams usually wind up with success. They usually win. And so team, team, team is, is, is the philosophy that we have here at Delta Dental. Delta Dental President and CEO Rodney Young approaches business much like he does basketball. The team's got to work together to get ahead, always serving its more than 4 million members. You can't shy away from a challenge. We've accomplished a lot as, as an organization. I've been most excited that we've gone from a company focused on dental benefits um, primarily to one that's been able to diversify. We focused on broadening the connection between oral health and overall health. We recently, two years ago, opened a technology and call center in Bemidji and, and added uh, over 100 employees in, in, in that marketplace. And, and most important for us is that um, we, uh, we take great pride in doing good things, and, and doing good has been good for the business from that perspective also. Following in the footstep of his father and older brother, Rod started his career in sales. He led two med tech companies before taking the helm of Delta Dental of Minnesota, a nonprofit provider of dental benefits that is run like a business, with revenue totaling $1.39 billion in 2020. I made a vow to myself when I became CEO that I would make sure that, that everyone's voice is as important as the next. And so I literally, if I'm in a meeting, I go around, if you don't say something, I'm going to call on you to say something. And, and, and most people really enjoy that at some point because they know that I'm listening and, and the rest of the folks, the rest of the team gets a chance to listen also. Today, he's listening to the changing needs of Delta Dental's 300 plus employees as the organization and the business community around him finds its footing following a year of uncertainty and upheaval. Uh, I think the world has changed and it's no different for Delta Dental. Uh, we will, uh, our offices will reopen and we'll come back to the office, but we won't come back in the same format that we were before. We'll, we'll have more flexible hours, we'll have individuals that will continue to work from home or work remotely. Um, uh, our business is strong. Um, I anticipate that uh, the, the business will get back to how it was before. Uh, we'll just do it and approach it in a different manner. Rod recently became chair of the Minnesota Business Partnerships Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee. Uh, and that process has been a, um, an encouraging one, uh, and encouraging uh, in terms of I've got a chance to interact with the other CEOs in the largest corporations in the state with my peers and to the person that I've been engaged with, uh, to the person that I've talked with, each and every one of them has raised their hand and said that we want to do more. And, and the commitment is, you can touch it, you can feel it, uh, which inspires and encourages me. At this time of great community need, Rod is thinking about how Delta Dental can be part of rebuilding and improving the city, starting near its headquarters in downtown Minneapolis. Um, through our Delta Dental of Minnesota Foundation, we are not only committed to downtown Minneapolis, but to the Twin Cities also. We, we made a contribution to, to help fund the rebuild efforts that are happening in the areas that were impacted by some of the, the uh, civil unrest that happened uh, last summer. And so we're excited about that. And in reference to downtown, uh, my hope is, uh, one of the reasons we are here is that downtown at one point was the most vibrant and exciting area to be in. And I, and I have a feeling it's going to come back. Uh, again, it's, we'll get on top of this, if we get on top, not if, when we get on top of this, this virus, I think people will come back and, and we'll, we'll have a different world here. Mm -hmm.